Hi, I'm Ali Jennings from Camera Jebba, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Palette Expert Kit. Now, this is a phenomenal new accessory for image editing, and basically, it's like the old traditional video edit desks, enabling you sliders, dials, and buttons, which will swap between uh, tools and also adjustments. So, let's take a look at what's inside the box. The box itself is pretty neat, amazing styling, shows a, a real product designer has been involved in the process. And inside, you can see you've got this very neatly laid out box. Here we've got two buttons, uh, three dials, which are very nice, two sliders, and the central core system. Now, setting up Palette is very quick and easy. You download the application from the Palette website, and the first thing that you do is you plug in what's known as the core. So this is this little bit here. It's actually a small screen which will show you which application it is that you're using making sure that you've got the palette app open which i have here as you see at the moment it's completely empty all i need to do is plug this little fella in and after a few seconds you'll just see the screen load and the profiles that i've already loaded onto the system are there when you first set it up you highlight which applications you're going to use palette with it downloads profiles and tool sets into it ready to go it appears in the palette app showing that it's connected and then you can start to connect all the modules. So here I have one of the uh, button modules. On the side here, you'll just see it's got some connectors. They're pretty close to the body of the, the unit. And here, a connector as well. And they're held in place by these two magnets either side. All you need to do is make sure that it connects like that and the button appears on the side. So I'll just uh, click these uh, modules on and the magnets are actually pretty powerful and will hold the unit together quite successfully. As you see here, magnets are actually holding its own weight at the moment at least. So there we go. We have our three dials along the bottom, two buttons just here and our two sliders. So I'll just lay that down so it doesn't all fall apart. Those magnets do actually hold it really nice and firmly. So we've got all of our uh, different profiles here. Here's our art and design, our retouching profile, and our Final Cut Pro profile. I'm gonna have a look at the art and design profile. And here we can see all of our buttons. Now, if you want to change these profiles at all, then all you need to do is click the button that you want to click. Then I'm gonna do change our next profile button, which is this one just here. Uh, go to Photoshop CC mode, depending on the application, you'll get different options. Um, and I'm just going to change that to create an adjustment layer and black and white. Why not? Click done. So each of <coughs> these modules has a different set of options depending on the application that you're using. And we'll take a look at that a bit later and in more depth in another video. So I've just set up the basic settings. And now I can switch over to Photoshop so we can really see how it works. Here's our image, uh, just uh, a shot taken down at the sea earlier in the year. The first thing I want to do is adjust the levels and I've signed that to this slider here. So as soon as I start to move the slider, you can see a levels adjustment layer has been created just here. And I've got that to adjust the gamma slider. That's the mid-tone slider in the middle. So as so I reduce that down, those mid-tones have been darkened, push it up, and those mid-tones are being lightened. So really quick and easy to use. The slider on the end I've set to opacity, and the option that I changed for this button here was to set that to black and white. So as soon as I click that, black and white adjustment layer is being created. Now I can just use the slider to go from full colour to black and white to a mixture of the two. And as you see, it's very fluid to use. So that's a really quick and brief introduction to Palette, just how versatile it is with Photoshop um, and how intuitive it is compared with what really does seem like a very blunt instrument uh, in the form of the mouse. Um, full review coming up soon, but uh, for now, that's the Palette and uh, very briefly, its capabilities.